and they know that this spike, this protein, and they believe the antibodies also can cross the blood-brain barrier. Almighty oh, Google, tell us what to believe today. That were discovered by this, uh, group of well, uh, as usual, we're supposed to be afraid. Also, one of the things that I'm going to be a dirty, rotten asshole right now by calling her out as a fear poet. Feeding unnecessary fear and imaginary, scary, scary biological theories, none of which the good, honest general public need to know, by the way. As long as she continues to validate the belief in the existence of an invisible threat, the bad guys will let her speak. The bad guys don't need anybody liking or hating anything. They need only that everybody believes. Regardless, what she says next is the most important issue that never gets discussed in the regime stream media shows and is a priceless litmus test for Canola Waller's gatekeeping shillery. All of this nonsense that we have done, the destructive, psychological, emotional nonsense that we've done to children by masking them, separating them, keeping them from home, not allowing them to do any of the things that normal kids in grade school are supposed to do, growing these children up to not understand the subtleties of facial expression, to make them be fearful of people who don't have a mask, to make them to be when they should be fearful of people who do have a mask who might kidnap them. I mean, what we, and now when they want to start trying to experiment with a completely experimental type of, of shot, never before done on human beings in general, now they want to do this on newborns, it's a crime against humanity. It's an absolute assault on children of God. Wow. We only have a few minutes left. Susie, quickly, your question. Anybody who either downplays the deliberate pretardation of her children or anybody who does not even recognize these perverse predatory intentions is a beast. A stupid animal's brain trapped in a genie's body haunting humanity. Well, it's a disturbing answer that you don't want to hear. With the, with the types of things that this injection does, binding the spike protein to the surface of your cells, making an antibody, which means you're sensitized to that forever, um, <clears throat> chain by, through a process called transfection, binding spike protein to your cells. Once you've been vaccinated, it is the mark. You cannot become unvaccinated. A lot of the other vaccines, people wanna know what they can do to detox from the mercury or the aluminum or the viruses. This is an irreversible thing. Once you have decided and made it an uninformed decision, I can't tell you how many people say, I don't even want to hear about it, just give me the shot. I want to be back convenienced. I want to be convenienced in my life. So you're changing, exchanging a lifetime of probable illness, possibly even death, so you can be convenienced and get on an airplane and go to the store? People really need to know about this. I've been talk I've done over 400 interviews in the last year about this. Um, it's not, I haven't been quiet about it, and neither have a lot of other people. People really need to put their, hand, their lives in God's hands and not in the hands of a pharmaceutical. Well, Dr. Tenpenny, I know you're coming to Daystar in May. We look so forward to having you, but I feel like it was so important to have you today to share this with you. Super bad.